What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I am going to be using the OMDB API, which stands for the Online Movie Database, or the Open Movie Database rather, um, free web service to obtain movie information. Basically what we're going to do is um, use these little posters or like the, the picture of each movie and display a random one upon button click. So I think what I want you to get from this video is to uh, understand my thought process and how I'm going to go about it. So um, I, I, the first thing I want to do is just set up my HTML. We're not going to be using any bootstrap or anything, but I have JSBin open. And I want a very simple layout, so I just want a container. And inside of here I want to just say, uh, have an H1, say uh, welcome to our movie movie API project. Uh, let's actually just make this an H3. H3. Uh, sorry about that. And there we go. Welcome to our movie API project. Let's just do some styling in here. And we can say dot container text align center and margin zero auto. And let's do uh, font weight 300. And um, let's actually let's just grab our H3 as well. H3 font weight normal. Actually, uh, I forgot I'm not I'm not using a SAS. So um, let's just grab it the normal way. We'll do uh, dot container H3 and just do font weight normal. There we go. Welcome to a movie API project. Um, maybe we just want to make the color red. Cool, and um, um, maybe we'll, we just want to underline it too, just for fun, de decoration, underline. Cool, so welcome to our movie API project. Let me just make this uppercase. Um, and then underneath here, we just want to have, a, have an image, and this is going to be um, this is going to be initially this image right here. No available photo in case we don't have movie return back from our API. So let's initially set it to that. So it's set to that. Cool. Uh, that's about actually that's about the right size that we want in there. Um, let me see if I take out text line center. Yeah, we want it text line center. Margin zero auto and let's let's give our image a border of two pixels solid black to sort of encase it and to give it a border radius of 20 pixels cool um, awesome guys and actually let's actually do let's make the opacity of it 0 0.5 at first and when they hover on it image hover let's just change the opacity to 1 so now you can sort of see that little effect we can also give it a little transition just for fun transition 0 0.2 0 0.5 Two five seconds, ease in, out, and so you can sort of see nice little fade in effect. Um, so we have that set up, and our final piece that we want, I'm just going to use a HR, and I'm going to say have a button here, and all it's going to say is click me to generate a new movie, and uh, our button, all it's going to do. It's going to be a width of 300 pixels, height of 50 pixels, and uh, font size is going to be 20 pixels. Click me to generate a new movie. Uh, color is going to be blue, and background color can be uh, red. Yeah, that's kind of ugly actually. Gray. Click me to generate a new movie. Nah, we'll just keep it. We'll just keep it uh, black instead. And we'll give it a border radius of 20 pixels. Have a nice little button there. Awesome. Let's take away that outline. Make sure this is actually closing real quick. Okay. Outline of none. Cool. Eh, let's let's get rid of that. I don't think that looks very good. Click me to generate. Let's we'll keep the text as white color white cool click me to generate a new movie so not the best 
uh, in terms of style, but we could also do one more thing. We could do, um, we could have it uh, button hover. We could do the color is, um, let's just make the color purple. I don't know. Uh, or sorry, the background color purple. And then let's give it that same transition effect. 0 0.25 seconds, ease in, out. Cool. So we got that. Um, let's change it to green though. So it's sort of in, more indicative that we want them to click it. And um, what's the last thing we want to do? We want to, let's just change the cursor to be uh, pointer. Right. So when they hover over it, want them to click it. Cool. Um, all right. So that's our interface. Pretty basic right there. Pretty cool. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to work with the, we want to sort of think about our logic. So the focus of our application is to uh, have a random movie array. So we're just going to work with four random movies and um, we're going to make an API call with one of them depending on which one is selected randomly. And then we're going to return back this image and swap it out. So let me grab jQuery in here and let me get rid of the HTML for now. And we have our console up. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create our random movie array. Let me take this off real quick. So we're going to say random movie array. Inside of this, we're going to have uh, Star Wars. Um, we're going to have Game of Thrones. I don't watch it, but I know the API has access to this one. Uh, we're going to have Lord of the Rings. And we're going to give it Harry Potter. Um, cool. So one of these isn't going to work, I forget which one, but in that case, it'll just be this photo. Um, but really quickly, so this is the API, right? And usage, it shows you send it, send a get request to omdbapi.com slash query string, and then API key, but you don't need that. So really all you need is a title. So uh, let me see if it has an example, right? So title equals Game of Thrones and season one, right? So here it has title equals Harry Potter. Um, but you can give it whatever you want and uh, sort of see if it returns data back. But uh, so yeah, we have a random movie array. Next thing we want to do is um, get a random number. And the way we do this is we can look at JavaScript's math.random. We, we see that it returns a random number between zero and one. So we don't want that because we have more movies than that. And if that's the case, it'll only ever select the first one if we floor it. So uh, what we want is more like this, return a random number between, you know, minimum and maximum. So let's grab this and let's alter it to what we want. Uh, random number. And we're just say math.floor, math.random times. And then how do we make this dynamic? We can grab the random movie array dot length plus one okay so let's see if this actually works let's see what we're getting back each time um, so uh, oh sorry about that so we get a three let's see one one four okay we want actually we want length minus one because it's a zero based array zero one zero two one, two, let's see if we get three. Zero. Okay, we got three back. All right, cool. That's what we want. Let's see if it actually works with our array. Uh, so let's do var random movie equals random movie array. And then we want to access this random number. And let's just see if we get back what we want. Random movie. And let's see what we get back. So this time we get back Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. We got back every movie. So we know our functionality is working for our array. Cool. Um, now let's work on the API call. So uh, in order to do this, I want to write a function. Just call it API call. 
and we're going to use jQuery's get JSON method, which takes in a HTTP request and then the type um, or the URL, and then um, second parameter will be the callback function. So the API is going to be this right here. I will copy and paste it in. So say uh, omdb api com slash query string t equals, and then of course we don't want Harry Potter. Uh, we're gonna add on our random movie, but one other thing we need to do is we need to encode the URI just so that um, some of the string is uh, protected when it goes uh, through through the wire. So let's wrap encode URI around this. And okay, cool. Um, get JSON, and then after let me take out the console. After we run the get JSON method. We're going to call it dot then, which just will run on completion of this promise as soon as the data comes back. This will take in a callback function, which takes in our response object. In this case, we're just going to console.log the response and see what we're getting back. What's the next thing we have an error on? We open up the console. Let's run it with JavaScript. We're not actually running it yet, so let me call API call and see what it is that we're getting. I think we need it to be HTTPS. All right, cool. So um, looks like this time we let's see. Um, Game of Thrones looks like it called. Just to make sure, we can console.log random movie and see what what movie it's calling. Just see if it matches up. It's calling Harry Potter, Harry Ron. Okay, cool. Um, so this is just T for type. You can also do like and um, or T for title, and then you can do and type equals movie or series, whatever you want. We're just going to use type. Very simple. Um, so it's console.log the response again. So let's see the whole object. All we want is uh, this response dot poster, which as you see is a JPEG. So let's just log out response dot poster, and let's do it again. Let's see what we get. So we get this JPEG right here. So once we get it, we want to check if it's not equal to um, not applicable, which you'll see if it if we get that back. Let me see if I can get it back. Uh, response dot poster. Oh, there it is. Not applicable. Um, so if that's the case, then we just want to keep this image. So let's look how we can implement that logic. We can just say var image equals response dot poster, and we can say let me get rid of this console.log. Okay, we can say if image not equal to NA, which is what it returns, then we want to grab our image with jQuery. We want to use the attribute method, which allows us to select an attribute. So in this case, our image has an attribute of source. And um, we want to swap out the source with the image. So let's see if this is actually working. Looks like it works. Um, probably can make the image a little bit smaller though. Let me see. Um, I grab my CSS image. We can do width 300 pixels, height 300 pixels. Um, I guess that's about right. Let's do you know, like 200. Nah, 250. Eh, 200. That's good. That's not bad. Um, cool. So that seems to be working. Let's try it a few more times. Okay. So we see that it's gonna stay as um, as NA if if there is indeed no image. So let's just look again and see the image. So let's look. So we get it NA. So it stays NA. Run it again, we get Star Wars. Run it again, get Game of Thrones. Let's run it again. No available photo, Star Wars, and Harry Potter. So we're getting all of our movie data back, and the one that we don't get, I think, is um looks like what we don't get. Let me run through it again. We got we got Harry Potter, Star Wars, 
Game of Thrones. And I guess occasionally we don't get we don't get Lord of the Rings ever. Hmm. Let me run this through the API real quick and see why it, why we don't get Lord of the Rings. Uh, I guess it doesn't have a yeah, it doesn't have a poster. It is valid, it just doesn't have one. Um, so that's cool and all, but uh, really, what we wanted to do, we wanted to wire up this button, and that's not working. So let's wrap our function. Um, get rid of that. Let's wrap this function right here, this API call, um, inside of um, an event listener. So we can say button grab the button and on click give it a function and when this function is fired just call API call so um, that's good uh, let's just try it out see if it works oh it does work but uh, what's wrong okay well I'll tell you what's wrong what's happening is it's only calling this random number one time and then it's staying the same so we gotta wrap this in our API call each time so that it generates a random number for every single request. So let's try it out again. You can see it's now changing. Um, really cool. I guess sometimes it's, it doesn't seem like it's random, but it, it definitely is. Let me just see, let me log out real quick. We'll just log out. Um, console.log random movie and just see for sure what we're getting each time why is it not random console.log random movie api call oh right harry potter Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. So yeah, it's definitely working. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, really not not that hard to do. Um, but in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thought it was a little bit fun to build, sort of just on the scratch, and just shows you again you don't have to be afraid of working with APIs. Really, it, really all it is is just parsing JSON using native JavaScript functions to sort of uh, tackle the problem you're, you're facing at hand. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe next time we'll work with uh, the Twitter API. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see another video. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate the feedback. Um, just trying to grow the channel. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or what you'd want to see next. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, guys, have a great day. Thanks.